We're going to begin with shoulder rolls. Bend the knees and keep them hip distance apart. Bring your hands out in front of you and loop them around in a wide arc around your body. The shoulders should be the center point of the motion and you can let your chest and hips follow the movement. Stretch your arms out as far as you can with each loop. Now it's time to pause and go in the opposite direction. If you were going forwards, now it's time to go backwards. For this version of shoulder rolls, we're going to touch our hands to our shoulders. We're going to lead with the elbows in a wide arc from front to back. Keep your knees bent, hip distance apart, and again your chest and hips can follow this movement. We're not trying to isolate anything. Now pause and switch to the opposite direction. Again, keep circling wide, bringing your elbows back in a wide arc. The goal here is to loosen up the chest and shoulders for more range of motion. Keeping your knees bent, hip distance apart, we're now going to focus on wrist circles. Keep your chest and hips moving here as we don't want anything to cool down too much while we're focusing on our wrists. Bring your fingertips away from you, back behind you, and then circle them in towards your body and repeat this motion. Now switch directions starting with your fingertips pointing in towards your body, move them back behind you, out away from you, and repeat. Bring your chin to your chest, keeping your shoulders away from your ears. Let your head fall to each side in a controlled, gentle motion. Keep your body loose, letting your chest follow the motions of the head, rounding the shoulders in gently when you come forward, and arching the back when you move your head back. This should be one complete fluid motion. Gently pause and move back in the opposite direction. For this motion, you'll be doing normal neck rolls, but you'll include your hips in the movement as well. When your head dips to one side, bring your hips out on the same side. Your hips should follow your neck as it completes the circle. Remember to keep your body loose in this motion. This can be a tough one for body coordination, but the more you do it, the better you'll get at it, and the more body coordination you train, the better flow you'll have. We're going to pause here and switch to the opposite direction. Now let's focus on isolating the chest. We're going to do that by staggering a chest circle, starting in the front, moving to the right, to the back, to the left, and finally to front. We aren't going to round out the circle yet. You may find it helps to put your hands on your hips. Now go the opposite direction, to the front, to the left, to the back, to the right, and back to front. Now that we've warmed up the chest, we can go back and complete the chest circles. We're going to be moving from the front, to the right, to the back, and to the left, just like before, but this time we're going to be rounding out that motion. Remember to isolate the chest as much as possible. You may find it helps to have your hands on your hips here. Now we're going to switch directions, going from front to left to back to right and back to front. Now this is a weird fun one. Start with your knees bent a little bit wider than hip distance apart and make sure you have solid footing. 
Starting from the hips, you're going to circle your entire upper body, throwing your hands up above your head. Switch directions and continue channeling the wacky inflatable tube man. Start with your knees bent, hip distance apart, and your hands up in the air. When you're ready, swing your arms down and around, up to the other side, and then reverse the motion, swinging them back around to the top. Repeat this motion a couple of times. Keeping the knees bent and the torso loose, bring one shoulder in front and let your hand wrap around your head, bringing it back as you bring the other shoulder forward and repeating the motion. Mimicking the chest rolls from earlier, we're going to move down to our hips, starting in front and moving to the right, through to the back, to the left, and to front. This should be one continuous, smooth motion. When you're ready, switch directions, moving through the left, to the back, to the right, and back to front. We're going to start with our left foot forward, right foot back, swing your back foot up, and then bring your knee up, rotating it to the side of your body and then touching down. You can touch down after the kick. Reset and repeat. Now switch sides and repeat the motion on the other side. Start with your feet wider than your hips. You'll be hinging with your hips in this motion. Try not to round your back out. Grab your elbows with your hands and dip your elbows down to one leg. Staying bent at the hips, come back up and move to the opposite leg, dipping back down towards the leg. You'll find it's easier to balance if you shift your weight onto the leg that you're dipping towards. Position your feet wider than your hips with your feet at an angle to help you balance. Hinge at the hips to start coming down into your forward fold. Bring your hands to your elbows and dip down towards your right leg, bending the right leg. You can let the left leg stretch out. Dip the inside elbow towards your body and use it to lead your body over towards your left leg. As you move, bend the left leg and straighten out the right. 
Repeat this motion back and forth, constantly switching which leg is bent and which is straightened, scooping in with the inside arm and scooping out away from you with the outside arm. Start with the legs wide and the feet diagonal. Bring your hips down parallel to the floor. You can use your forearms to help you widen your legs as much as possible. Rock from toe to toe, side to side, waking up the lower body. Start in a lunge position. Your back knee should be flat on the floor and your feet unflexed. Your front knee should not extend beyond your ankle. Use the hand on the same side as your front knee to balance yourself. Raise the opposite free hand high above your head and back towards your back foot. Using that free hand to guide the motion, dip down in front of you and back towards your back foot, keeping a loose arm as you move. Switch sides getting into the lunge position on the opposite leg, make sure your hips are square, and repeat. Starting from a lunge position with your back knee to the floor, foot unflexed, and your front knee directly over your ankle, sit your hips back, straightening the front leg and aligning the hip over the back knee. Remember to keep your hips square. Move back and forth through the lunge to the point position and back again. Switch sides, taking time to square your hips and get into the lunge position, and then repeat. Starting with your feet wide, rotate the hips to hinge the body down and then bring your hands down to the floor. Walk your hands forward until you find a comfortable position. Step your feet back and feel free to step it out to get into a comfortable place. Bring the knee up and rotate it in a circle around your hips. Reverse direction, rotating your knee in the opposite direction before switching legs. Switch legs and rotate your knee in both directions. Start on your hands and knees in tabletop position, making sure that your wrists are underneath your shoulders and that your knees are underneath your hips. We're going to be incorporating some circular motion to this move, but first here it is without any extra motion. Round your back out, looking towards your belly button and trying to push your back towards the ceiling. From here, arch your back, 
pushing your belly button towards the floor, looking up towards the ceiling. Now we're going to do that in a circular motion, moving our torso out to the side from the rounded back at the top. We're going to move our torso to the right into a back arch on bottom, to the left, rounding out the back and moving back up to top. And now we're going to reverse the motion, moving around in an opposite circle. Starting from the floor, bring your hands underneath your shoulders and push your body up. Dip the head low and bring the hips back towards the feet. As you come forward, round out the back and move back into a laying position. Dip the head again and repeat the motion. When you're ready, reverse the motion, rounding out the back and bringing the hips towards the feet. Then tip the head low, slinking across the floor before rounding out the back and repeating the motion.